Hello everybody and welcome to another Chrono Plays in the Real World. Today we are taking a look at another loot crate, the December 2014 loot crate. Now, I have absolutely no idea what's in this one. I know nothing about it. I didn't get this month's newsletter, which would fit because I got like, I don't know, a dozen a month for the past, you know, previous two months. And that just got really annoying, so I unsubscribed. So, um, I know nothing about this Loot Crate box, but it is the holiday season, so I would assume it's the Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever the hell it is, Loot Crate this month. So, let's take a look at it. And first thing I noticed when I got it is it's a little, it's, it's larger than the other two I got, and uh, a bit banged up. Thanks you, thank you, USPS. Uh, right here, there are punch outs, like uh, the last loot crate, the one with the battle loot crate. And that's about it. There's nothing else special about this loot crate. So let's dig into it and find out. And it is, I don't know. The box looks a little bit spacey. No, wait. It, it, hang on. There we go. It looks kind of like the Bat Cave. If you look up here, we got like the little support struts, and then we got slag tights or slag mites, whichever way it's supposed to go. Um, so, yeah, it actually kind of looks like the Bat Cave because we got the computers and we got this, but that looks like the Robo Kid. Thing from that anime that I've never watched. Well, anyways, let's take a look. We have a superhero's bobbly head. The Joker, Batman, Batman. No, I'm not kidding. It says the Joker, Batman, Batman. Vinyl figure. Okie dokie from Pop Heroes. Um, does it tell me anything interesting? No, it just repeatedly says the Joker, Batman, Batman. But on the bottom, do you tell me anything useful outside of choking hazard? Hmm. Okay, uh, so what do I think of this thing? Well, it's Batman with a giant head and the wrong color scheme. And that's about it. It's interesting. Let's let's pull this thing out of the box. Whee! There we go. Yoink. Well, it's definitely a vinyl figure. Uh, it's head turns, and that's it. So, I don't know what I think about this guy. Um, it's weird. It's one of them mashup things that you see every once in a great while that never really interested me. So, eh, eh, whatever. Moving along. Sit you down right there. We have grouped socks. Yeah, socks. <laughs> I was going to say, are they actually socks? They're actually socks. They're polyester and spandex socks, but they're Groot socks, and it's a little uh, cutting Groot, which was really cool at the end of the movie. I, I, I quite enjoyed that. Let's uh, come on, pop these off. Let's take a look at these things. Plastic things get stuck inside of everything. They are long, but they're very thin. They say, I am Groot. And that's it. Well, they do say Marvel on there because, of course, everything Marvel has to be tagged Marvel. Um, okay, that's, that's interesting. So apparently this is the superheroes uh, loot crate. I guess that kind of fits. I mean, we got what looks like Batman's Batcave right here. We have um, Kellerblind Batman? Let's call him Kellerblind Batman from now on. Yes, there we go. That'll work. All right, reaching in, we have a Tetris sticker set. I retract my comment about superheroes. Um, yeah, 147. I can never pronounce that word. Tetramino. Yeah, well, Tetramita. That's the name of the block. They actually actually have a name. Stickers and design booklets. Uh, the possibilities are endless. Well, it's Tetris. Um, 
If they were magnets, that would be so, so much better. But they're not magnets. Hang on, let me get my pocket knife. Cut you open real quick, and we'll take a look inside. Whoop. Yoink. They're very thick, too. They're thick stickers. I mean, it's, pro it's like a millimeter thick. Possibly less than a millimeter thick, but yeah. Um... I knocked over Batman. Sticker set design booklet. Okay, so we have the different letters. We have hearts. We have a skull. We got nothing. Okay, so I guess it's just how to make things. Okie dokie. So, yeah. If you want to play Tetris in a very, very permanent way. Wait, these ones are thick. These ones are not. Oh, they're not thick. They're layered. There are two of them. I Oh, they're on clear plastic. That's why I can't see it. Okay. I get it. 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 There are three clear plastic sheets of the Tetraminos. Okay. Interesting. We have... An Avengers, <laughs> Avengers Assemble Vanilla Car Freshener. Okay, moving on, we have a Smash Candy Cane. Merry Christmas. And we have something to do with The Simpsons. All right, I actually still have absolutely no idea what the theme of this freaking thing is supposed to be. It's a full-blown Simpsons poster, and I think I know the poster. It's the one with, like, every single character on the bloody thing. This is not a poster. What are you? Lots of storage areas. It's a wallet! Oh, my God, that's amazing! And apparently it wears out to nothingness after a year of use. Two money pockets, two credit card pockets, two business card pockets, lots of storage areas. Expands as you fill it. Water-resistant microfiber, except for the fact that apparently you start using it and apparently it fades to nothingness when you're done using it. Well, that's actually kind of terrible. The incredible strength of the Mighty Wallet comes from its super strong material and unique folded design. The super thin and lightweight Tyvex, ooh, Tyvex wallet is incredibly strong and resistant to tears and stains. <laughs> well, apparently it qualifies itself as a stain. Uh, a true conversation starter, the Mighty Wallet is sure to bring good times and lots of compliment as it wears in and takes on the look of a well-loved wallet over time. But if I would get this wallet, because it has The Simpsons on it, wouldn't a well-loved wallet still have The Simpsons on it after a year? I mean, seriously. Uh, what else do we have in here? My life, my wallet. What will you create? My mighty wallet. Oh, apparently you can go to uh, dynomighty.com and you can make your own mighty wallet. That will fade to nothingness after a while. Uh, funny money wallet. More cool stuff. Oh, it's it's a wallet made out of fake money. Okie dokie. Hey, there's another thing. Be mighty! And another advertisement for it. Alright, so it's a wallet. It's a paper wallet. Um, with all of the Simpsons characters on it. That's actually kind of interesting. Uh, we got two large pockets. We got two small pockets. Didn't it say there was like six pockets? Oh, there's a pocket over here that goes the entire way through. <laughs> um, interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Uh, you could probably have some serious fun going, ooh, I remember that character. Let's see if I can find that character on my wallet. Plop. Reaching in. Let us grab the pin. For this one, it's the Loot Crate December 2014 Anniversary. All right, so this is the Anniversary Edition of Loot Crate. Um, nope, that still doesn't give me any hint on what the theme of this is supposed to be. It's quite literally just a crate on the pin. 
Okay, moving along, we have the book, which I won't get to in a second. There's actually something underneath the book that I want to check out. It is Batman Endgame, Loot Crate exclusive. It's a comic book. Free digital copy of the first three chapters of Batman Arkham Unhinged. Okie dokie. Uh, another comic book. That's always cool. I like comic books. Uh, I don't know much about comic books, though, so when it says The New 52, I think of an old 80s band. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's cool. That is pretty cool. Anything else in here? We have, let's see, Back Off, Man, I'm a Scientist. It's Ghostbusters. Uh, it's one of them door-hangy thingies. Um... Are you the key master from the original Ghostbusters? Back off, man. I'm a scientist. Mm. Like, I understood this one. Are you the key master? I, I don't... I might have to watch that movie again because I don't remember that line from the movie. Was that from something else, maybe? Uh, I don't know. All right, so... Uh, what do we got here? Hey, looters, enjoy a special 30-day free trial of Crunchyroll just for you. What the crap is Crunchyroll? I don't know. Largest lineup. The largest lineup of anime and Asian drama with professional subtitles. Latest simulcast. Watch the latest shows one hour after they air in Japan. High definition, high quality videos on your TV and access 1080p on the web. Um... Apparently, it's a place to watch anime TV. Yeah, the official source for anime and drama. Okay, didn't even know that existed. Well, that succeeded as being an advertisement because I didn't know what it was. Okay, so it is the anniversary edition of Loot Crate. Uh, Marvel, Batman, Tetris, The Simpsons, much more. We talked to the real Stan Lee. There's a fake one. Hmm. How to win the Mega Crate. Um, sign up for Loot Crate and you could potentially get the Mega Crate? I mean, isn't that the entire purpose? Well, part of the purpose anyways. Uh, so what do we got? The month theme is a very special one as we celebrate anniversaries. I've been trying to figure out what the, an what the theme is, so... This month's theme is a very special one as we celebrate anniversaries. Didn't you just say that? Our favorite brick-flipping game, Tetris Turns 30, as well as our favorite team of phantom-trapping scientists, the Ghostbusters. They're also 30? Hmm. Um, anyways, uh, America's favorite family, the Simpsons, is 25 this year. I thought they were 25, like, two years ago. Hmm. Uh, not to mention milestones for some of our favorite comic book characters, along with their heroes and villains. There's a lot of awesome stories and memories to cherish, so hang on to your crate and read on. So it's the anniversary edition of the crate. So it's it's Tetris is turning 30. The Simpsons is somehow turning 25, even though I thought the Simpsons were older than I am. Yes, yes, I'm actually quite sure the Simpsons are older than I am. The Simpsons started on the Tracy Almond show in 1981. Oddly enough, I actually know that. Um, so, yeah, but I, I do think... I know that I know they officially started, like the series itself started later on, like in the late 80s. So they might be counting that. I'm not 100% sure, even though I thought we were on 28, season 28. But uh, I may be mistaken on that. And we got pictures from everybody who was playing with the stuff from the last loot crate. We have an interview with the real Stan Lee, apparently not the fake Stan Lee that you see in all the movies. More of that interview. We have Josh Marman. Merman. Josh Merman. I have no idea who that person is. Uh, this is what's all in the mega crate. Uh -huh. Interesting. Oh, you can get an Xbox One and the PS4 in the mega crate. God damn. They went all out in a mega crate. Uh, Captain America air freshener. This is what's in our, our, our loot crate. Exclusive dancing group socks. Okay. Yeah, I'll be wearing them. Too bad I wear boots and nobody would ever see them. Tetris sticker set. Exclusive Ghostbusters door handle. Oh, hey. Uh, that one's different than mine. I wonder if uh, different loot creators will actually get different 
door hangy things. I'm also mildly curious if more pe if people will get different vinyl figures. I don't know about that. Then there's the mighty wallet of the Simpsons cast, which still annoys the hell out of me that it fades into nothingness after a while. Exclusive, the Joker Batman Batman pop vinyl figure. No. Everybody's going to get the exclusive Joker Batman Batman pop vinyl figure um, from Funko. Hmm. Uh, exclusive Batman comic book issue 36. Uh, now, somebody out there who has the, uh, who actually cares about comic books, not like me anyways, um, is there like a different version of comic book number 36 that's not Loot Crate branded? Or do you guys go from 35 to 37? I don't know. Uh, the December Anniversary Crate Instructions. So prop up the crate on some books. Flip over the opening. Um, the sides pop out. And you put your pop vinyl on it. So it kind of sits... Like that. <laughs> and then this part comes out. And that's about it. That actually looks pretty cool back there, doesn't it? I mean, we got uh, the Robin. We got Batman. We got Batman? No, wait. What the hell is that? That's... I don't know. Okay. <laughs> They're very stylized pictures. I don't recognize them. Is that supposed to be like Nightwing or something? Possibly. And there's a dinosaur in the back. Batman has dinosaurs in the bat cave. Um... Okie dokie. Uh, it looks cool. I really like how they're doing this with the boxes now, and it's not just this orange box. So, that is Loot Crate. Anything else interesting? No, not really. We got a light on the top, which... Neat little touch for something you'll probably never actually even see. Alright, so that is Loot Crate for December 2014. So, I will end it here. And I will say to you guys, as always... Keep playing the game and have a happy Christmas.